In this video, I'll show you how to create a YouTube deck in Power Apps using the YouTube Data API. Let's have a quick demo of the app first. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to add channels to your collection. So let me search for Power Apps channels. Um, so as you can see, again, it loads up the channels. Um, I can add this to the collection. Let me add Audrey's channel as well over here. And uh, also let me add one of my favorite channels. Is Mr. Tank's channel. So yeah, uh, let me add this one as well. So you can see while I'm adding the channels, it also fetches the videos for the same channel that I'm adding. And it uh, loads it up in this feed and I have set it to um, sort it by the date it's published. So it uh, sorts it by that and shows me the feed of the videos. I can also click on uh, one of these icons over here uh, for more information and get the description, the, the tags, the duration of the video, uh, the views, likes, dislikes, comments, and also I can play the video from here if I want to. Um, I can also click on this icon here to open the video in YouTube directly. So yeah, let's just give it a second, show you how it works. So it basically launches um, a URL from Power Apps and it opens it in YouTube. I have a slower connection here today. But yeah, you can see it's loading up over here. I won't open it. Um, also, you if you want to, you if you can refresh the feed. And what it does is basically fetches again uh, a list of latest videos from these three channels. It fetches those one by one. Uh, the channels so. The videos are also up, updated up for each channel one by one. All right, so I can also edit my collection over here. So I can click on this basically. So when I click on it, it shows me this delete icons. So I can click on this and it removes that channel from the collection. So that's basically the demo of this uh, app, how the different things work. Um, let me kind of dig deeper into how each of the element is working over here. So the first thing is the, the search. So when I click on this uh, search icon, it basically searches for channels with this query and uh, returns uh, a list of channels from the YouTube data API. So let me show you the flow that I've used to get this data. So this uh, flow is to get the channel list from the, the query uh, data, the text input that I'm putting over here. So um, this is the URL of the YouTube data API. Um, it's the, the search um, function that I'm using, the search list, uh, and um, there are different parameters that you need to know, uh, you need to specify. I'm getting the, a snippet of the results, uh, the max results that I want to be returned is 20. Um, this is my search text. and. Um, this API basically returns um, 
based on the search uh, query that you input, you can either get, uh, you can specify the type that you want to be returned, the type of resource. So you can either specify a channel or a video. Um, you can or a playlist. That's the third option, I think. So I have I want to get the the list of channels. That's why I've specified type equal to channel, and this is my API key. I'll be regenerating this key. So yeah, it, <laughs> by the time you see this, you can it won't no longer it won't exist any longer. So um, so yeah, uh, once you add this in this URL. Um, it will return the list of uh, channels and then um, I'm using the response action to send this data back to Power Apps. Now, in my previous video, I talked about how to return text inputs or text variables back to Power Apps. This one is to return a complete um, I would say a table of data, a data table back to Power Apps. Uh, if you want to know more about how to do that, you can um, see this blog post of uh, in Flow, where they have specified the the step a step by step guide to return data tables um, to Power Apps. I'll uh, I'll show it to you in 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 brief, but yeah, if you want to get uh, more details about it, go on this uh, link. Uh, I'll add this link in the description so you can see it. So what you can do is you can, um, once you add the URL over here, you can, um, let me open one of my sample requests that I did. So this is the one that I just did. Um, you can see it, the, my search parameter was 8-bit classroom. So this was the URL and this is the response that I got from the API. So the API consists, so th the items is the list of results and each item includes the different, uh, uh, I would say properties of that uh, result. So what you need to do is you need to copy this whole um, output from this HTTP request that you uh, added and copy this and once you have copied this you go to edit flow go into response add the in the click on use sample payload to generate schema add the the text that I just copied. And what it does, it generates, um, um, it's, it, it uses the sample payload to generate schema for the JSON uh, you're generating from the HTTP. So I'll, I've already done that, so I'll close it now. But yeah, once you click on done, it will um, add the schema for it. And uh, you can use the complete date, the, the data table back in Power Apps. I'll show that to you in a minute over here. So my body over here is the, the body HTTP items because that's my, that's what I've added uh, the, the schema for. So back to Power Apps. Um, let me show you. So the this is my collection, where, the channel collection where it's saving the the different uh, uh, channels that uh, the list of channels that I just got from the flow. Um, I've created some column names in this case. So when was the channel added? The the channel description, the channel ID. Um, the channel image and the channel title. So let me show you how I did it. So when I click on search, the search icon, it collects um, into this collection called uh, YouTube channel list. And uh, 
it um, so this YouTube channels list uh, has the uh, it collects the the data table back from the flow so this is the YouTube deck get channels flow that I just mentioned over here and um, I'm I'm passing the the text input to it and uh, it's saving the the table in this YouTube channel list collection so let me show you the YouTube channel list collection over here so the YouTube channel list collection basically saves all the data uh, of that results and the channel collection is actually my my local kind of collection where I am saving all the channels that I'm adding. So let me show you how that's being done. So when I click on add to collection, it uh, collects uh, into channel collection. That's my kind of local channel collection. And uh, these are the columns that I just mentioned and it's saving the uh, the channel ID, the channel title, the description, and the um, image. So you can see uh, what I've used, uh, the formulas that I've used. So the, this is my gallery, um, gallery.selected.snippet.channelid. And if you want to look how to kind of access these properties, you can always go to the collection, um, go to the, the the collection that's saving all the data you can click on this snippet it shows up the the columns inside it you can click on thumbnails default and it shows everything related to that so um, that's how you can kind of see what we what properties you want to use and you want to save and what i'm doing is when i am click on clicking on add to collection i'm also saving all the latest videos of that channel into a video collection. So let me show you how that flow is working. So this is the, the flow to get videos and the video details from the, the channel collection basically. So what I'm doing is I am, let's go back to the power ups once again. Um, when I'm click on, clicking on add to collection, uh, the fun thing is I'm, I'm doing is first adding the channel to the channel collection and then collecting the videos of this channel to the video collection. So when I run this, so this flow, it, um, uh, So this is the HTTP request that I'm uh, using. Um, this again is a search um, list uh, API uh, URL that I'm using of YouTube data API. And in this case, I am instead of type channel, I'm mentioning type equal to video. And I'm also putting a max results 20 and an order equal to date. So it, this will basically return the the latest 20 videos of this channel um, in this HTTP request. Um, what I'm doing next is I am creating a video ID string. Um, I am passing the JSON generated over here by this HTTP request and um, I'll show you in a second why I'm doing that. So the reason why I did that was for each of the videos, a video, I want to create a, a string of the video IDs so that I can then um, request uh, the details of these videos um, by using the, the YouTube uh, uh, data API for video details um, and uh, add all the IDs in one request 
by separating them by commas over here as you can see I've used uh, an apply to each of this uh, body generated from this JSON and um, I'm adding I'm adding it to a string variable so it basically collects all the video IDs of that channel that's uh, like 20 videos um, the 20 video ID separate, separated by a comma what it basically helps me in is it I'll be using only a limited quota instead of requesting for each of the video the details of this and it also reduces the time required to get the video details so once I have used this videos uh, HTTP request I'm using the response over here to uh, send the data table back to Power Apps with the video details so let me show you the video collection um, collection over here so the video collection has um, multiple things that I'm collecting so I'm uh, collecting the con content details the snippet and the statistics um, that is something that you can specify in the HTTP request if you want some more details of the videos you can always go to the YouTube data API and see what details you would like to use in your YouTube deck and accordingly put those uh, parts over here for my uh, usage I just wanted the statistics content details and the snippet the snippet has um, the channel ID the channel title the uh, the description of the video and the title of the video and the tags and the thumbnails and everything like that the statistics part of it has the views uh, the, the the likes the favorites the the dislikes and the comment count uh, favorite count is something that has been deprecated by YouTube so this data is of no use uh, but yeah, uh, you can see how you can kind of uh, collect so much data of the videos, which probably you might not see um, in the when you open it on YouTube itself, uh, specifically the tags of the video. So yeah, once I have collected all the videos uh, in this video collection, um, I can then... Uh, let me go into play mode over here. Um, I have then added a gallery to uh, create a nice looking feed for these collection of videos. And it, this is the thumbnail of uh, the thumbnail, the URL from the, the, the flow that we just created, uh, this API response. And uh, the info has the description, the tags. This is good. Some this is this information you can't see on YouTube directly. This is something you can just get it from the API. So and I, I think it's a good uh, detail sometimes when you want to look at how people are using tags in their videos. So that's about it. Uh, that's uh, of. Uh, that's how the flows are working to get the, the video details, the channel details, and that's how I'm adding um, uh, the, the channels with the collections and uh, populating this feed. The refresh feed is basically uh, collecting the video details again uh, uh, from these uh, channels. I know this is not the best way I would say to refresh the feed you can optimize it if you want to but uh, for this uh, app uh, and for this video I, I didn't want to complicate stuff I just wanted to show you how to use the YouTube data API and how you can create your own YouTube deck in Power Apps. Um, I can see uh, multiple use cases for uh, this kind of uh, 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 usage of YouTube data API you can create uh, multiple video collections so instead of having just one collection 
I could have like four collections and see the uh, for each collection the feed of the videos. I could also use this to manage YouTube videos within the company and when I say uh, that what I mean is there might be one or two administrators for a YouTube channel but the video content might be from different uh, product managers or marketing managers so you might w want them to see more details about the video uh, which you probably don't want to give them access to the the admin access to the YouTube channel but you can use this type of deck to uh, show them some more details and also you can add your own um, kind of columns to the video collection say uh, industry or the application or um, your own your own identifier or the business team that was the the content uh, lead for that video so that way you can kind of categorize videos within the organization and if there is any change that has to be made in that uh, video you know, what you could do is you can create um, edit icons over here um, make the let the uh, um, content owner make the edits in on this side and submit it to the admin where you can create a flow to send it to the admin and the admin can make the changes and approve it um, and then send back an email to the product owner saying okay the changes ha you requested have been made so this way you can give access to um, a, a lot of video uh, a lot of your video content to your teams within your organization uh, i think it's a really powerful way to uh, do a kind of youtube management within organization um, that i think that could be uh, something that a lot of people could use but yeah you could use it as simple as this or as a group of uh, different collections or however you want to use the YouTube data API you can also add some filters um, some sorting orders um, but yeah this is this is a bare bones uh, kind of YouTube deck that I have created I will be adding the the link to uh, download the files for this uh, power app um, to download the flow files as well and um, um, and if you if you have any comments uh, if you have any questions please add it to the comments and uh, happy power apping thank you